elephant in the room. It's not really an elephant, but I mean, it's it's just really annoying, right? Um, ever since the superhero movie, I feel like spoilers have been this crazy thing that has been occurring more so than before. And not to say that, you know, it's not like there's never been spoilers that have come out in the past because they definitely have. I mean, I remember, I recall back when like it was the Broly movie around that time and 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 people were seeing leaks for through like Xenoverse or something like that like with with specific characters that were revealed there and even before then with like Ultra Instinct Goku happening like some sometimes sometimes these things happen but for some reason I just felt like it was a little bit more avoidable then than it is now now it's like if you're at all within this realm of content creation or anything like that where you're a fan or you're just you're just really hardcore following dragon ball at some point one way or another you're gonna get spoiled right and for someone for someone like us where we're doing this weekly podcast like it's so bad now and this is how i know it's bad because this guy would only get his news from me now he goes on Twitter and he's like, dude, I got spoiled. That is crazy. That is a huge measuring stick for me to know that it has definitely gotten worse, you know, because we all, we all consume our news differently. We all get our feeds are all unique. You know, they might be similar. We might have some, some blends in there, but it's all different, right? So the fact that this man got spoiled and not from me is crazy right so that's the first thing i wanted to bring up to you guys because i don't know i'm glad like i told you guys off 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 recording that i was already like i'm glad that i i, I said what i said during my reaction of this chapter on that video that i did the way i did because if i initially did it i mean people in the discord know they know i was fucking furious because that's annoying because it's like if I'm gonna wanna, you know, share my reaction with you with everybody, right? Because that's what a lot of people know us for is for these reactions, and that's like special, you know. Like people come to watch that shit because they enjoy it, they're entertained. And I literally read a comment from someone that said like that they've been they've been around since the reaction days to Dragon Ball Super anime, and that who would have ever thought that our fucking dumb asses just freaking out to this bullshit would help their day out and that to me is super od and that's godlike and i'm just like well now if we're having to fear where the hell we're gonna look or like when things come out like those reactions are not gonna be as crazy as people are expecting them to be or hoping them to be because if we're getting the information early you know in a setting where it's like I don't have a camera on my ass 24 seven. You know what I'm saying? Like that's unrealistic. So Kai, what are your thoughts on this shit, man? I think that, I think the superhero movie really set a new fucking boundary. Cause it's, it, it is like you said, like that's, that's when it got like, it, it got way out of control and I don't think it's ever going to get back, which is crazy. And now I, I even saw something that kind of blew me away, which is how how fast everyone's getting spoiled plus how much they're getting spoiled with has gotten so out of hand that Toyo Taro made a post about it I did not see this you didn't see that no he made he made a post about it and I mean I I don't want to say like oh yeah this is like confirmed or whatever but what I saw seemed to have been directly from his Twitter and I saw the post translated I don't know how accurate the translation was I don't remember who made it but it was from Toyotaro's you know like official account so I, I read it and it said something along the lines of you know this this spoiling era is ridiculous and I'm really sorry that you guys have to deal with it <laughs> wow. I hope we can fix this and like, like I said, I don't remember what it was. You can check his account. I'm sure it's still there, but it was something along those lines of, you know, like this is out of control. This needs to stop. I'm sorry. Yo, I didn't know so, that. So, so yeah. So I read that and I was like, damn, 
he got to step in and say something about his own work getting ruined for others. Like, mm -hmm. that is officially too far. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that is... OD. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. I didn't think it was, I mean, that's nice. You know, like, it's it's nice. It's that, nice that he cares. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it is him doing it, you know? Like, Toriyama obviously is involved, but... You know, really, he's just there for the namesake. You know, they just put his, they yeah. slap his name on it because it's, it's Toriyama. A Toriyama approved. Right. You know, he's, like I said, like I'm we a Kira Toriyama and I approve this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how it goes. Like, dude, we said, we, we said this, we said this analogy like best, like a bunch of times. Like, Toriyama is that dude that's literally in the same car that, that they're on the same trip, you know? Toyotaro is the one driving and he's in the back seat. He's yeah, he's in the limo. He's just in the back seat. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, like if anything, if 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 if, if they're going along the, the way and like they need to make another turn, Tor and Toriyama, like he he eventually he pokes his head out from the corner. He's like, oh no, no, go this way. Yeah, this way is a little bit faster or some shit. So so Brandon, what do you what do you what do you think about this shit, man? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't really get spoiled too much. And I mean, once once I saw it, literally when I saw it, I was just like, like I just thought about us almost because I know we was talking about Frieza already and shit. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, wow, our predictions are pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, sir. That's an understatement, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so I was just like, I mean, that, that's literally how I how like my mind was processing the whole thing. And I mean, I did watch the Geek Them video about it or whatever, just cause like, like once I already saw the picture, I was just like, fuck it, might as well just see what the fuck's like going on, I guess a little bit. And like, literally, like when I think about it, like they, they practically spoiled the entire chapter. It wasn't even oh, yeah. just like one fucking, it wasn't well, just one page. It was like, well, like you could figure out the entire thing, mm. like without you, even. You, you could, uh, but all the ones that I saw as far as like spoilers were concerned, it did seem at the time, it seemed like the whole fucking chapter got revealed, which yeah, obviously it didn't. That's how but it that's, felt. Yeah, that, that's seriously how it felt. Damn. But once, uh, once we read it, I'm sure all of us, our, our opinion completely changed because the chapter was fire. But as far as what got spoiled, I am glad that if something got spoiled, it was the whole Frieza thing yeah, because yeah. we already said it. We fucking knew. We called it. It needed to be Frieza. Yeah. If it wasn't Frieza, this whole shit was a complete waste of everyone's time. And again, I am one of those people that does not think that regardless, like, that I would rate this chapter, this one chapter, chapter 87, I would rate it a 9,001 out of 10. But that still does not mean I'm going to give this entire arc anything above a 4 out of 10. Because <laughs> fuck what they put me through to get to this point. That's fair. I'm not... Like you can, you can sit here and tell me like the way, the way I explained it to someone last night was, um, this one chapter does not make the entire arc better. And it does not make the entire arc worth reading it. It did not save the entire mm. arc. I don't, I don't care about that. I think that this, this chapter, what this did for this arc was give it purpose. True. It just made the story do something yeah and like like we said last time this if it's not like this being frieza was their last chance to fucking do something with this art and yeah. they yeah, actually but, did yeah, it like but this, like this frieza is looking kind of crazy not gonna That's lie. Not Wait, because because now like because it, you're right about it didn't fully um like spoil everything because we didn't like when i like when the spoilers can't spoilers came out we didn't understand what they were actually saying just because we don't speak fucking japanese or read japanese right. so it was like so so once the chapter came out it made things a little better like i guess fresh in a sense so it's like i but think it I made it i mean great. i still i because like i don't know i don't know to be honest I, I i still felt spoiled but i mean yeah like me... i still felt spoiled but like it was it was literally just frieza's form like i saw i saw panels and panels and panels of fucking frieza in his shit and i was just like all right we knew so it's whatever yeah, but at the same the time i'm glad they didn't uh, i'm glad they didn't show like anything with gas or anything with anything else like crazy lines like that they just showed frieza being at his new fucking best 
No, but Which... I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they spoiled the part where like Frieza killed him and shit and like stomped oh, yeah. on his head. And like that that like and then and then even the ending of the chapter they spoiled. Which was like when I was reading it, I was like, bro, I needed a little more, or they should have just not spoiled the ending to it because oh, in no, my no. mind, I'm just like, that kind of fucks my whole lingo up because <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> like, like, bro, like, why'd you spoil the end? Because now it's like, I want to know kind of what the next, like, right. page yeah, no, would I, be, we, you know? we gotta get into this review. I have so much to say. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, there, there's actually a couple, there's actually a couple things. That's that, a lot. That interesting. There's a lot to talk about with this chapter. Great segue, boys. And I'm glad you guys know how to fucking drive because I was literally just about to cut in. All right, it's time for the review then. <laughs> oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>